All right, my friends, welcome back to Blue Planet. Uh, you may remember in the last entry we ran to some Vicians, I believe they were called, and um, they're trying to restore a balance to the universe. Don't know what that means yet. Now, um, the game crashed after the last entry when I tried to uh, save it, so, or, so I'm hoping... Crossing my fingers because I didn't get a chance to see if it moved to the actual next mission or if I have to do it again. If I have to do it again, you won't see this. <laughs> so I'm hoping I go to the next mission. Personal log, Commander Bay. That feeling again. As okay, I this is new. Nexus, so a fulcrum for the universe. When I move universe moves with me. I felt it in the Second Great War, but it's nothing compared to how I feel now. Huh. The Admiral doesn't believe me when I told her that the Orestes was in danger. She wants to bring the fleet back up to full strength before organizing an expedition to head back to Delta Serpentis. Why? I'm reluctant to inform her about my current relationship with the Vishnans. Vishnans. They communicate with me and no one else. I think I'd be more likely referred to Medlab than to be taken seriously. The Admiral is a good person and a fine commanding officer. What next action? Why I undertake this next action with only the utmost reluctance. Are you gonna... What are you doing? What's going on? What the... Turning back. What am I flying even? I have only guns and engines. What am Commander, please don't do this. Corey, Taylor, you guys shouldn't be here. Return to the Temeraire. I don't want to drag you two into this for no good reason. Sorry, sir. We're not leaving. We told you, sir. We're here to watch your back. He's gonna watch out for you if we're not with you. I've already given my notice of leave to the Admiral. You guys are still on duty. I don't want you to get reprimanded for following me. Besides, I need to do this alone. The Admiral knows we're here, Commander. As soon as we found out you were missing and had taken an environment suit, we volunteered to go and get you back. We're not forcing you to come back to the Temeraire, Commander. We just want to know why you jumped ship and left us behind. Because, Taylor... There are some things in life that one must face alone. Some things that are just so horrifying that you can't bear to bring them down upon anyone else. How did I get here in an environment suit? Do environment suits have jump drives? I've seen these Vishnans before. They've spoken to me all my life across time and across universes. They've told me I have a destiny. And my destiny is to sacrifice my humanity to save my father. I didn't believe it at first. As a kid, it's easy to deny everything. When I grew up, though, I lost my wife and my mother to the Shivans and Capella. My father is the only person I've got left. I haven't been 100% honest with you, Taylor. When I said I'd lost my father at Capella. Yes, Commander, we know. Admiral Bay, he's in danger, and you are the only person who can save him. It's not just your father, is it, Commander? It's also the 25,000 people that we left behind in Delta Serpentis. Let us come with you, Commander. If the Admiral asks, we could say the vision has forced us into coming along. I... I don't know what to say. Thank you? Well, yes would be a good start. <laughs> okay. Well, I'm approaching. I'm sorry. Corey, Taylor, I made this decision a long time ago. Yeah, but you can't make the decision for them, things dude. could be different. Then, this is goodbye, sir? Yes, Taylor, this is goodbye. If fortune favors me, then we will see each other again. If not, I'll take this opportunity to say what an honor it has been serving with you two. And how grateful I feel to have shared this brief time. 
Goodbye, Commander. I know in my heart that we'll see you again. So, maybe not goodbye after all. But farewell. the fighter bay in her fighter bay where I don't what fighter bay wow yeah I can't there we go oh am I getting an escort kind of well, maybe they're going to lead me to the fighter bay, too, which would be clever. Jesus, look at this thing. Whoa, what? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight. Wow, I got eight fighters around me. I don't know where the fighter bay is. I'm just going to follow this guy. fighter bay is. Is that the fighter bay? It could be. Damn it. Sorry. Is that like an engine to sell? Where is the fighter bay? Finicky. Okay. Where's the fighter bay? Is that the fighter bay? Doesn't look like a fighter bay. Oh wait, there, wait, 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 wait. Damn it. Oh, it's up here. Oh, that's handy, okay. Kind of looks fighter bayish, with the with the landing lights. Oh, whoa! Okay, well, that was it. Okay, great. Personal log, Commander Bay. Well, I did it. I set things in motion that can't be reversed. I went against my superior officer, deserted and put into question everything I learned about loyalty and obedience, mm -hmm. and I could fulfill something which has not been anything more than a nagging feeling all my life. Everything seems to have worked out so far. My guilt at leaving Corey and Taylor behind is still present, but I have consoled myself with the thought that I won't be dragging them into something which must be done alone. What I have experienced, I can hardly describe. For the sake of future correspondence, I'll attempt to do so now. Okay. My body is still intact, along with my physical effects. These Vishnans, however, don't exist in the same way we do. Their ships aren't crewed by personnel. If it didn't sound so strange, I'd say these ships of theirs are the Vishnans themselves. They are psychic beings, as pure in existence as anything we've come across. To call them energy beings would be to miss the point. They inhabit this universe in much the same way that we would inhabit a room. They exist in some other plane, far removed from our material existence. Their ships are vessels to carry their will, hmm. nothing more. When I came aboard, the Vishnans put my body into suspension. I will need little in the way of nourishment or sustenance. My psyche has been transplanted into a ship of my own. I don't experience reality as they do, but in essence, I now have a ship to carry out my will. Hmm. Before this, the Vishnans have had no knowledge of my father. 
It is strange. It's almost as though my memories have unlocked specific aspects of the universe which had escaped their notice previously. Hmm. They now know about the GTVA. They know how we entered this universe. Because of this, they have a connection with everyone I have ever known and met. Hmm. They don't see in abstracts of time and space anymore. In a way, I think I have shown them what it means to live as a material being. Okay. What? Okay. Okay. Great. <laughs> sure. Okay. Here we go. What the what? Looks okay. like the Sheevans have brought everything they had through the Nosos portal. I only see one cane and one Moloch with his forty points and one bomber with Missionaries. Engage Sheevan fighters and bombers. Stay away from that Moloch. Protectors, your target is the cane and any fighters that get too close to your turrets. What is that? How does that even work? Well, it works apparently. Oh, whoa, whoa, holy crap! Oh! Okay, this is really weird. Really weird. What are you talking about? Bombers, bombers everywhere. I'm working on it. the fighters are destroyed. Time to call in some heavy firepower to take out that corvette. Okay. Oh, 
Oh my god. What the hell is happening? How am I supposed to destroy this fucking thing? I'm not doing great here. Oh shit! How many fucking beam cans do they have? Shit! Oh. and bombers away from her until she can make the jump again. Mega bomb, what the hell? Mega bomb, what the fuck is a mega bomb? Shit, 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 shit. There's no way I'm getting to that in time. Okay, well. Follow her lead, and I'll see everyone on the other side. Here we go. Go, go, go. That's good. 
Let's do one more. So we're not even at the twenty. We just hit the twenty-minute mark, so we can do one more. I hope. So this is it for us. One to wait. This feeling of coming closer and closer oh. to the end of this journey has grown stronger with each passing hour. Everything that has passed has been building up to this moment. Really? It's as though my entire <laughs> life before coming here has merely been a prelude, and everything that has taken place since then has a weight upon it which threatens to crush me, as though my actions carry the weight of an entire universe. It is my firm belief that what is done over the next few hours could shape the very future of the human race. Okay, well, um, that's not ominous. Jesus. Okay. Ravana destroyers up ahead. Looks like they're blockading the node. We need to destroy their forward beams as fast as possible. They've set up an ambush on the keeper. Fuck me. Jesus Christ, okay. I stopped. Oh shit. Let's try again one more time.
damn it. Uh, Ravana two, destroyers up ahead. Looks like they're blockading the road. We need to destroy the forward beams as fast as possible. Set up an ambush on the keeper. Christ. How big are these things? This is Rear Admiral Carey to the crew of the GTD Temeraire. At 1720 hours, we entered the Delta Serpentis system. The GTD Orestes and her ships were nowhere to be found on sensors, and did not uh. respond to general broadcasts. Reconnaissance flights found wreckage in the orbit of Delta Serpentis Prime. As yet, no survivors have been found. Yeah, I'm we stopping here. the Orestes battle group lost to enemy action. I'm stopping here. I love this mod. I love it. I love it, and and yet, it's frustr it's it's infuriating at times. I'm not sure I'm supposed to handle that. It's like, in the in in a in an interesting way, it's adhering to that old '90s, uh, way, style of difficulty, you know, where um, you might have to. There might be a puzzle to the mission. You have to figure out how to fix it. You have to figure out how to put it together. But, um, yeah. <laughs> the, it's, it's, it's great and frustrating. And to that, it adheres to Free Space 2 very well because there are times where Free Space 2's main campaign was insanely frustrating. Um, so overall, based on what I've played of this mod, I would call it a success. They've done an amazing job. I'm only, I'm not even, I don't even think I'm a quarter of the way through it at this point. I think I've done eight or nine missions. I lost count. Um, but yeah, they're over 50, so I'm not even a quarter of the way done. And this is several hours. This is five, this is about four or five hours of shit, I would say. Well, not shit. I'm calling my own, self, my own stuff shit. But this is amazing. This is probably one of the most impressive mods I've seen. This is up there with um, that Wing Commander, uh, Darkest Dawn mod, full conversion thing. Just such a labor of love and care. You could tell how much work has gone to this, how much detail they've put and thought they've put into this. It's really an amazing achievement. The fact that this is free 
that all you need to do is buy free space too when you have this is astounding is absolutely astounding so this is a real achievement so if you have finished free space 2 and you want more you gotta play this that's all there is to it you have to play this if you haven't played free space 2 and you're watching this why but <laughs> you gotta play free space 2 to really get the impact of this you can't just jump into this um, you gotta play free space 2 so this is amazing I'm probably gonna keep playing it once I get over my anger of failing so many times in a row <sighs> which is just as much on me as anybody any, anybody else but yeah this is incredible if you've played free space 2 and you haven't played this yet you need to so thank you for watching this series and we'll be back next week. Uh, I'll see you then. Have a good one, and thanks for watching. Bye.